Hello everyone and welcome back to Lord of the Rings The Third Age. In the previous episode, things got a little bit more difficult. And this episode, we're gonna just strut along like a boss. And clear out these lands. Once and for all. Or we can hurry up because it's getting pretty boring just walking ever so slowly. I believe we need to go that way, but we can't go that way without the map, and the map is this way. Either that or it's reverse. Ah, I knew it was reverse. We need to find the map, and to find the map, whoa, okay. That was weird. The Cave of Wonder. Let's check it out. Oh, very misty. Very mis mysterious. Uh, see what I did there? Oh, more purple. Let's kill the purple. Oh, you can't go next. That's not fair. Nice. These guys are much tougher. Uh, oh, nope, nope. Barathor. Hey, something else. That does something. Stand fast. That does something. Yeah, I'm learning these abilities like crazy. Like crazy. Now I don't need to use the other one. Uh, let's kill this one. Probably should have done that to begin with. Decrease the life loss. In fact, I should have just been attacking this entire time. There's no need to heal my wounds or increase my damage just because there's no other enemies after this point, I think. And I just go right back to the save point and replenish everything. So to speed things up, I should have just been attacking this whole time. And that's exactly what I'll do. One complaint I do have, I wish Elagos could change from bow to sword. I mean, of course, I would pick the bow every time. Yeah, we achieved the map. Well, achieved. We got the map. And we got a new thingy. War is soon to come to our time. Even now, Saruman sends forth his cruel orc servants. Hey, sexy. I escaped his trap at Orthanc. And now he seeks to hunt me down, ere I finish my task. Understand that a great eye watches all in the darkness. Building in power as it prepares to destroy this world. As I speak within your mind, Saruman rallies the wild men to his cause. They will pour forth here and in Rohan, burning as they go. I would suggest you find the dwarf quickly, before Saruman wins his war in this land. Alright, so that explains things a little bit. So apparently Gandalf is speaking to Barathor through, like, the mind. So why the hell did we not ever see that? Oh, yep, we got... Sweet, more stuff. Why haven't we seen that in, like, the books or the movie or anything? Gandalf never talked to, like, Frodo through the mind. That would have been very handy. But no, for the sake of convenience, we couldn't allow that to happen. But it's okay to let it happen here. Oh, yeah. Anyway. We have the map. Actually, I think that was the orc that Elagos was talking about. I mean, he did have the map. So there you go, Elagost. We killed the guy for you. Hey, another save point. And another chest. It's always good to save. Even though you saved... I saved 30 seconds ago. Or something like that. What? But... I... I explored everywhere, didn't I? Did I not? 
Huh. Oh, that's because there's a branching path. Well, I didn't see this earlier. Ah, fresh tracks. The dwarf came this way. He is heavy for one so small. I'd be careful not to say that around him. Quiet. Both of you. I hear something. Well, Ranger, it's about time. Hello, lovely. So, Barathor can keep his helmet during the cutscenes, but he can't keep his shield for the sake of convenience. Alright, you know what? Since we haven't used it yet, we're gonna use it. And... Oh, wow. That barely did a thing. Well, immune to stun. Does he stun us? I don't remember. Well, let's increase our damage at least. Oh yeah, you can only have three people. So I guess Elagos is skipping this battle. Uh, both of these are very... You know, we're gonna shield Idriel, because she can heal us. So might as well increase her defense. Uh, nah, I just want to keep attacking. Decrease the armor, though. That's an added benefit. Alright. Um, increase the ally rate of attack. I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm going to use Israel just as a healer. She's going to be the party's dedicated healer. Uh, no, not goblins. Just a regular attack, then. Aha! See? Yeah, see what happens? Let's keep lowering your armor. So... We don't really need to do that, so... Oh, yeah! Also could have been doing this the whole time. I have to remember I have that because it is so useful. Alright, well Hadhod's shield is over. Probably shouldn't have used the axe crap power because now I can't use the shield. But he is weak enough where I can just keep attacking. And if Idriel gets too low or anyone gets too low, which I don't think it's going to come down to that. I can just switch out whoever it is with uh, Elagost. But yeah, it's not going to come down to that. This troll is screwed. Alright, it got green for some reason. That was weird. The whole lighting in this is weird. Like on the regular Xbox, it was fine. But for some reason, it won't work on my regular Xbox, so I have to use it on my Xbox 360. And ever since I started doing it that way, it's the lighting has just been weird. I love it. Elagos got points, even though he didn't have any part in the battle. Yeah, we found Hadhod. Yay, another epic scene. Heralds from a people who hold themselves apart from other races. They are a race that feels deeply, and when deciding upon trust, their friendship lasts many lifetimes. I have met a few of these stout fellows in my time. They appear small, but are not to be trifled with. Do remember, as you enter their ancestral home, that their pride, greed, and stubborn magnificence created this now decaying wonder. Cool. Cool story, bro. Uh, that's not for anyone. Uh, I don't care about that. And I don't care about that. Okay. So. I will go down this time. Uh, yeah, I think those increased automatically because I wasn't increasing the dexterity at all. So, double spirit. Because you're our dedicated healer. You kind of... Oh, yep. One, two, three, four, five. And since you're 
more of a tank than the other. Increase your strength. Defended Duke's time between attacks. Strength is always good. Never have too much strength. Armor. Ah. Uh, yeah, your armor is quite weak. Oh, I found the water protection. Okay. Well, there's that. Oh, you have no new equipment. Sweet. And of course, you get a helmet and whatever that is. Okay, so water protection. I'm just gonna ignore it. We don't need no stinking water protection. Water is for the good guys. Wait, aren't we the good guys? Um, forget that statement. It never happened. What never happened? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, something like that. Oh. Hey, it's Moria. Apparently we didn't need Hat Hot after all. We could have just gone forward this entire time. I wonder, does that mean... I saw from that location, so I was up there? I was either up, like, right there earlier when I saw Moria, or I was up in a location where I cannot really see. One of the two. I'm not quite sure. Rust of Moria. That does something. Something important. I don't quite remember what that does, though. I could check it out, but... Ain't nobody got time for that. Sweet. Moria. Random trees that weren't there before. Aw, but I want to go for a swim. Look! Uh oh. Where do those elves come from? And more importantly, why aren't they helping me now? So. Yeah. How do I. There we go. Definitely need Elagos for this one. And it's too bad I wasted my power on the troll. I thought I would have a little more time between the troll and the watcher. So. Oh wow, that barely did anything. So hopefully this will do something better. Yeah, about the same. Maybe I should have added water protection. Uh this is gonna take forever. Screw it. I'm gonna have Hadhod use the last of his ranged attack. Or maybe I should just Alright, uh, new plan. Elagos is gonna do like all the attacking. Israel will do some every now and then. Hadhod will protect Idriel with his... Oh my! Well, poop. Elagos, okay, well we need to heal. Action points, armor, greater action points, full health, uh, health to the party. Some health though, some health that makes you Alright, that's fine. Oh, I barely did anything. Give the Elrond to Elagos. We kinda need him to keep attacking. Yes, attack Hadhod, please. Use your shield on Idriel. Hopefully it will protect her for a long time. Then she'll protect 
yourself. I remember this being a lot easier before. Should I heal Hadhod? Because I'm just going to trade Hadhod for Barathor so he can use his leadership abilities. But if Hadhod dies, I don't think I can switch them out. I might be able to, but I don't remember. I'm going to risk it, though. That is a risk I am willing to take. It was a risk that... It, it worked out. Leadership. Nope, no one's getting stunned. Yeah. If I can keep him from attacking me, the Watcher that is, then I won't really have to worry about anything else. Arrow Flurry. Alright. We'll check it out. Zero HP again. Good. Good, good. Um, let's increase your rate of attack. Since you are the only person who's attacking. Oh, that was bright. I should be taunting with Barathor. Since he is the tank in this situation. Nope. Not at two foes. Just one. I'm gonna have to increase his AP pretty soon. This is Barathor. I'm gonna taunt. That way he'll keep attacking Barathor, leave Idriel and Elagos alone. So we'll go ahead and restore some action points to Elagost so that he can keep using his special... Oh, that's not fair! I taunted with Barathor so that you would attack him, not my entire party. Let's keep on the attack. So then, Idriel's next, so she can heal. Yeah. So it's a good thing I brought Barathor out here, because the attack has been... I'm gonna have to heal Elagos, because he is closest to death, and, like I said, he is the one attacking. But, I'll also heal some health for the drill. That was actually quite a bit. No, don't attack. Oh, god dang it. He is still not there. So, Elagos, Barathor, Elagos, Idril. Elagos, no, I need to heal first. Nope. Actually, I'm going to attack first. That way, I use up AP, so if I have a health and a AP bonus thing. Good thing I did. Critical. So now, is there... What was the thing? Sun health, source, sun health connection points. Source greater. I don't want greater. And that's all, like... Oh. That works. Or not. I should have known. Oh, I should have known. Should have known he'd been immune. If I examined him, I would have known. Maybe. Probably not.
Oh, well, Barathor is dead. Oh, he is almost dead, too. I think we're going to risk it. Double crit. Whoa, that actually might do it. Yep. Woo! Double critical for the win. Literally, for the win. Watch out. Those tentacles are powerful. Yeah, you don't say. It only knocked your butt out. I knew he was good for something. No, he didn't, dude. Don't lie. Western Moria. I wonder if Hadhod knows that everyone in Moria is dead. Except for the goblins, and the Balrog, and Stand the Fellowship. Back. It shall be a dwarf who first enters Moria. Wow. What a jerk. Rumors are true. Balin has failed. My people have failed. I guess that answers the question. This fight took place decades ago. Their bodies returned to dust. These great dwarf lords stood here for thousands of years, Elf. And this abomination took place before them. I do not find that amusing. Some small measure of their great power remains hidden here. I can feel it. Let me help you reclaim it. For your people. Oh, they gonna get it on. Not really. I missed one. What do you mean I missed one? How could I have missed one? I I explored the entire area. Ah. Seven rings of power were given to the dwarf lords, great miners and craftsmen of the mountain halls. But they were deceived by the dark lord Sauron. Time their kingdoms fell into ruin. But the dwarves hold many secrets, and few are graced to share their language. The secret rooms of their ancient kings remain lost in these empty halls. It is your secret to find, my friend. Secret, you say? I do like me some secrets. Well, that sucks. Oh, we didn't finish all the wild men, too. But I could have sworn we checked the entire area. I guess not. Oh, oh, what? Yeah. We could always go back, retrace our steps, try to find it. But I don't have the attention span for that. And it's only one missing piece. Ah, Moria. This would be a very good time to end the episode now that we're in a new area. But I am quite early. But you know what? Screw it. Early episodes are fine too. And I do need a break. So, in the next episode we will explore the mines of Moria. But until then... Like if you like this. Subscribe to see me some more. If you have a suggestion on a video game you'd like me to play, let me know and I will play it. And as always, I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you on the next one.